Hey everybody, we are at the moment we've been waiting for. We're going to be bottling our black raspberry uh, wine. And um, me and my beautiful wife and consultant, the Slavic princess, has made the determination that we should back sweeten this. We had tasted some wine and we decided we we're going to back sweeten it. Um, so what I'm doing now is I am heating up a little bit of organic sugar and water here and we're making a little syrup and uh, we are going to test a sample of that in this here beaker till we get a specific gravity that we like the way it tastes and when we're finished with that we are going to then add syrup to the bucket with the rest of the wine till we get the same specific gravity and back sweeten the wine. We're also going to be adding sorbate and sulfite to the wine to uh, preserve it and so that the wine does not start re-fermenting with the new sugar. If you want to see more on that process you can certainly look at my past video on back sweetening wine. I did it with a Riesling. Um, I'm doing the same exact process here. We're going to taste the sample and bring it up to speed um, to what we like and then bring the whole rest of the batch up to the same reading with the uh, hydrometer. All right, we'll be back. All right, so this is where we're at. Um, we tasted it. This particular wine um, is going to be a little bit sweeter than the Riesling that we did in the other video. So what we did is we made a sample here of what we liked and we made what's in the bucket match that. Again, if you want to see that in more detail, look at the Riesling video that we uh, did earlier. Um, Alright, so now we're going to get ready to uh, bottle. Alright, so I have four gallons of wine and I'm going to crush four Camden tablets. Camden tablets make it easy because it's one tablet per gallon and uh, that'll give you an easy way to measure. So I'm going to crush this between two spoons, add it to the wine, stir it up, and get ready to bottle. Alright, so now I'm bottling this raspberry wine. And I know that you've seen me do this before in other videos, but basically what happens is there's a pin at the end of that bottling wand. And when you press the pin in all the way down, the wine comes out. So what I'll do is I'll watch this, just like you see here. I'll watch it till it comes up. If you're not watching it, it will overflow and spill all over. it gets up to around there and then I'll take this up like that and you see the pin I will push it against the side and fill it up till about the neck of the bottle to just about there let's see that again and And I push the pin up against the side of the bottle until it gets up to about the neck. All right, so I'm going to fill the rest of these bottles, and we should be good to go. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my video channel here on YouTube and check out my blog at www.cooking-italian-recipes.com for great Italian recipes, tips on organic gardening, winemaking, and uh, herbalism and all other kind of fun stuff that I'm into. Thanks for watching.
please subscribe tell your friends take care